Hi, I'm Nick from Income Digs, and welcome to this video tutorial where we show you exactly how we use different tools to execute various business processes within the world of real estate investing. Today's video will focus on Podio, which is a really cool, really powerful, newer application that we use for many aspects of our business. Uh, this will be the first of many videos in the series uh, focused on Podio. Today we're going to focus specifically on a general overview of how we use Podio for property management. So we're going to show how we set up the different applications and how they work together. And if you're not familiar with Podio, this will be a great way to dive in and to learn how it works and you can see some of the powerful benefits of it. So uh, let's start off with what is Podio. Podio is a cloud-based database application. Um, there's free versions, there are paid versions. We find that we can do almost everything we need with the free version. We're going to talk about that in later videos, the pros and cons of, of paying for Podio. Um, and the power of Podio really comes into play with the fact that it's fully customizable. So you can make these databases any way you want them. You set up relationships between the different records within the database to really conform to your business. So many people ask us why we don't use uh, applications such as Appfolio or Buildium for our property management. And it really comes down to the fact that Podio allows us to customize our applications. Um, also, it allows us to link to the other aspects of our business. So on top of property management, we have real estate flipping, um, we have uh, general contracting, and we have different Podio apps for these. And we're able to connect these all together uh, through a very, um, ends up being a bit complicated network of, of Podio applications. So uh, we love it. Now it's not specific to real estate. That's the other thing is uh, many other businesses use it for many other things. So we'll talk about that as well. Um, so I have the Podio screen up here just so you can get an overview, but uh, I'm going to switch over to a uh, demo workspace that we created for Podio uh, to demonstrate exactly how it works. So what you're looking at right now is what's called a workspace. If I click over here to the left, you'll see all of my workspaces. Now I have some for my business and personal. Um, I created one here under Income Digs for property management. So that's what I'm in right now. This is my workspace. <clears throat> the workspace is a group of what they call apps or applications. And you can see right here at the top, these are what's called apps. Now what an app is, is just a set of records. Um, again, these, this is fully customizable. You can call these whatever you want. You can create as many as you want. You get to even pick from a huge selection of icons as far as how you want all these to look. Um, so we created this for our specific business. We're going to talk about how this all works and how it all plays in. I'm going to go into properties first. And again, um, just as a uh, overview here, each application is nothing more than a collection of records and they're related to each other. So when I click on properties, it shows me a collection of the properties that I've added to Podio. Now this is just a sample, so I listed a few here. Um, very basic information. What's the property name, the purchase date, purchase price, market value. It's all arbitrary for now. If I click on one of these, I'm going to click on 34 long, you'll see all the additional detail. The property name, I'm able to upload an image of the property. Um, you can put in a map part of the application that'll show you where the property is on a map. My current status is active as opposed to inactive. Um, the way we use this, if I sell a property, it would turn to inactive. It's a multifamily property. Um, my purchased on November 5th, some information about the purchase price, market value, etc. Okay, so let's go back to um, the properties here. And again, this is my listing of properties. I'm going to switch over to the units app. Now the way that we work this is we have a number of properties, in this case three, and each property has a certain number of units, usually uh, more than one, but sometimes just one. So here's a listing of units and they're tagged to a property. Now how does that tagging work? If I go into this unit 34 long apartment one, you can see here that there's a property link. And when I'm creating this, and we'll show this in a second, it'll give me the option as to um, what property I want to tag it to. My status is rented. 
my monthly rent. Annual rent is calculated based on monthly rent. It's simply this times 12, and that's, a, that's not a manual exercise. Podio does that for you. Occupancy um, is 100%. Okay, so again, just an overview. I'll go back to units here and you can see how they're all listed. Now, all of this is customizable. It can be a bit overwhelming uh, to start, but it's really great and powerful. Uh, even the fact that I show a list here in a table is customizable. I can decide what I want to show up here, how I want to sort these, how I want to filter these, if I want to calculate off of them, etc. Okay, so I have my properties, I have my units. Next comes tenants. So I click on tenants. You can see here is a good way for me to list all of my tenants. I have different statuses. They're tagged to a unit. Now a tenant is tagged to a unit. A unit is tagged to a property. And uh, that means that each tenant via the unit is tagged to a property as well. So let's go into um, one of these tenants here. Joe tenant. Um, again, here you can see all the data that I have. The unit pulls up. Uh, the status, incoming, active, outgoing, moved out. The lease type, lease start, lease end, target renewal. Talk about target renewal real quick. Target renewal is a date that we use for um, when we start a lease. We use it as a trigger to tell us to contact the tenant regarding a renewal. So um, what that means is if I were to, in this case, I start the lease April 1st, um, the lease ends next year in March, I'm going to set a trigger on February 1st um, to renew this lease. And this should be 2017. So that's going to tell me um, on that date, I have it set up so that it'll tell me you're going to want to look into this tenant to see if they want to renew. And this brings us back to our views here. You're able to create a custom view, as I'm about to do, um, for lease renewals. So you see here, I have Mickey Mouse. Um, I'll click on lease renewals. This pretty much tells me, I have this view filtered on, give me all of the tenants who have lease renewals coming up. And it'll, based on that date, it'll show me who I need to act on, who I need to contact to find out if they're gonna come back. So it's really helpful in, in the workflow. Um, also, we have uh, move-ins. So this is this is tenants that um, their lease is about about to start. Their status is currently incoming. There's a lot of tasks that are associated with moving in tenants. So this helps us to identify what we need to act on and what things we need to do. All right. So um, we're going to just demonstrate how we can add units and then uh, tenants. So I'm going to go into the units here and you'll recall that I have the one property 34 long. Let's pretend that that is a two unit property. I currently have one unit here. I'm going to add another one. So I click add unit, unit name. I'm going to call it 34 long apartment uh, two. Now, as I tab down to property, it'll give me my options. What property is this associated with? associated with 34 long. Let's call it currently vacant. Monthly rent, I'm gonna shoot for 800 per month. Annual rent will calculate in a second, so will occupancy, okay? Save unit. Okay, go back to units, and it'll show up as a vacant unit. There it is, okay? Let's fill it with a tenant. Go to my tenants app. Add tenant. Okay, so I'm going to create a new contact. This is a brand new person into my business. So create new contact. Let's say his name is Jason Rice. He doesn't have a phone number, doesn't have an email for now. Let's leave that blank. Secondary contacts is a good way if you have a group of, let's say, students or maybe a family where. Um, you're, you have a primary contact as the wife and you want the husband to be the secondary contact, you can add more contact information there. It's a good way to make sure everything's all in one place. All right, unit, uh, let's see, 34 long apartment two, the one we just created. Perfect, there it is. Now, it pulls that unit up and it shows it as vacant. Now, I'm renting it out, so I'm gonna change that to rented. Great, status, incoming, let's call it an incoming tenant. They're not quite here yet. They have an annual lease. Let's start the lease on 2-1-2016, and let's end it on 1-31-2017. Renewal, it's set for 11-1-2016. That's the date that I want to trigger. Now, here's the beauty of Podio. 
uh, one of many awesome features, attaching files. So um, obviously for tenants, you're gonna be signing leases. You're gonna have a lot of documents to manage. Now we would recommend managing these documents in something like Dropbox or Google Drive, which is great. Now what Podio does is it connects to those applications. If I click Choose File, it gives me the option to pull up my Google Drive. Now in this case, I'm just gonna grab it from my desktop because I have it there. But we use this feature nonstop. We have all files for our entire business are on Google Drive, very well organized. And within Podio, whenever we need to link to a tenant, we need to link to different documents, we're able to just reference our Google Drive, which means we're not having duplicate copies of files anywhere. They all live in Google Drive, and all we're doing is referencing them within Podio. For this example, though, I am going to um, go grab the annual lease for Jason. And this is, again, just a sample. Click Done. There it is, save tenant. Okay, there he is. If I click on this, it'll bring up the file, the PDF file. Everything's right there, perfect. Okay. So we see that Jason Rice is now added as a move-in. That's perfect, that's exactly where I want him. Um, also, if we go to units, Within the app, we change the status of 34 Long Apartment 2 to rented. It's there, it's rented, it's great. So we're in good shape here. We just added the tenant, uh, we added the unit, and all tagged to the property. Let's just shoot back to the workspace real quick. Um, there's a lot, a lot more we're gonna get to in all this, but again, this is just an overview of how everything works. If I go to activity, this is kind of your, your workplace dashboard. What you can do here is customize different views to alert you of what work needs to be done. So um, right here I have rent by status. So my rented units, my vacant units. This helps me to determine how much money is left on the table per month. I have 695 in vacancies, so I'm gonna wanna fill those. Units by property just gives you a rundown of what you have. Um, again, our upcoming move-ins, our upcoming lease renewals. It's so cool, you can move these around, you can say, where you want things, you can customize them. There's also task management within Podio. So uh, I'm gonna just demonstrate this real quick. I have a task here to address a broken window. Well, what is that? Let's click on that. I created this task within the application maintenance requests. So we had a maintenance request that there's a broken window at one of our properties, and I associated a task with that. So you can see here, this right here is a task. When is it due? Who's it assigned to? Some details, and it's reference to a maintenance request. If I click this, it'll bring me all the way over to the maintenance requests app, which shows a broken window and a lot of details. It's uh, 264 Union Apartment B, which happens to be rented, great. Um, the contact info, the guy who submitted the maintenance request, the urgency, it's intermediate, I would assume so, broken window, there's cold air getting in, etc. cetera. Uh, permission to enter, so this is a great way um, for our tenants to say, Here's my maintenance request. No need to call and set up a time. You're allowed to come in whenever you want. This is a great way to do that. Reference images, they can add an image. Um, repair status is currently scheduled. That's done by us. And all this other information. And then of course that task too. So everything is connected. It's really, really awesome. Um, you get really excited when you set up your business in Podio. Again, I just wanted to give a general overview with this video. There's a lot more here. You can see that we have a lot more apps that we're gonna to touch on. The other thing we're gonna to touch on is, you notice that when I created the tenant to move into unit 34 long apartment two, I had to manually go in, and it was really easy for me, but I had to change the status of the unit to rented, right? So when I created Jason Rice, and I, and I said he was tagged to this unit, this showed up as vacant to start. Now, I changed it to rented, that's very intuitive, but if you are dealing with a lot of these at once, there are workflows that exist within Podio to automatically, when you tag a new tenant to a vacant unit, Podio itself will change the status of that unit from vacant to rented so that you don't have to do it. Um, a big reason why this is helpful is that it, it avoids mistakes. It, it wouldn't make sense to have an active tenant in a unit and that unit reads as vacant. That would be inconsistent, right? So you can set up workflows to make sure that those are always consistent. And that is a great, great tool. Um, and we'll show that in future videos. 
But for now, uh, we're going to call it there. Um, this is just an overview. This is part one of many. Uh, it can be a little complicated to start, but the bottom line is that the fact that Podio is so customizable and the fact that it connects to different aspects of your video um, business makes it extremely, extremely useful. If you spend the time to set it up right, it can make your business run very smoothly. So in the future videos, we're going to cover how workflows work. We're going to look at the different uh, applications here. We're going to dig into the different views that are available. And we're really just going to keep churning through Podio um, and addressing different issues. If you have any specific questions or things you want to see, leave a comment and I'll try to address those in the next video. Um, until then, feel free to check out all the resources available at IncomeDigs.com and thank you for watching.